<laughs> so in an attempt to distract from the January 6th committee's final hearing where they were going to summarize and present all of their findings and um, refer criminal charges on Donald Trump, Jr., who clearly was enjoying his last line of booger sugar, tweeted this. Just a friendly reminder that 80 FBI agents had time to police free speech and memes at Twitter, but no one had any time to look at who was in Jeffrey Epstein's black book actually exploiting children. You know, Jeffrey Epstein's black book, the contents of it, who's listed in it, is all over social media. All you have to do is Google Jeffrey Epstein's black book and there are numerous sources that have snapshots of what and who is listed in Jeffrey Epstein's black book. But a picture, yeah, a picture, video, will give you an idea who's listed in Jeffrey Epstein's black book. Well, looky here. Here's a picture of Donald Trump and Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, look. Here's a picture of Donald Trump with Ghislaine Maxwell. Ghislaine Maxwell was Jeffrey Epstein's close confidant and she is now serving time for the role that she played in all of Jeffrey Epstein's illegal egg trafficking shenanigans. Will you look at that? There's Donald Trump partying with Jeffrey Epstein. Hmm. Oh look, must have been date night. Donald Trump and Melania and Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein. Huh. And if you didn't know, civil suits have been filed against Donald Trump for graping a 13-year-old girl. Now, those suits were thrown out of court, but we all know Donald Trump's history in being able to escape lawsuits. Doesn't mean he was innocent, just means that the lawsuits were dropped. And could it have been that Donald Trump settled? Hmm. So, in closing, Junior, high off of that last line of booger sugar, shows us the hypocrisy of the Republican Party.